Standing 20 feet tall by 60 feet wide, these two floating LED screens are brand new additions to the Hudson River. It could be fully submerged in water and be fine. Ballyhoo Media CEO gave us an exclusive tour of the catamaran. It's more than just advertising. We do live showings, movies, wedding proposals. The company came here from Miami in October to cruise along Manhattan's waterfront 10 hours a day, seven days a week. New York City is the media capital of the world, and it's the outdoor capital with Times Square. Some worry it's a little too much like Times Square. We've got enough visual pollution in town. We don't need advertisements in the river. If they're going to do it, then they should at least limit the, the quantity. Well, yeah, it's New York. You know, somebody's got to, there's a place to put an advertisement. Somebody's going to figure out how to, how to make a buck on it, right? Brian Breaker is an editor at Ad Age magazine. Certainly, like, people will notice it, but it ultimately can be annoying and potentially illegal. Ballyhoo Media insists it is fully operating within the law. But the law is kind of murky. Waterway ads are not allowed along residential zones. But in Manhattan, you can have a residential zone and a commercial zone on the same block. So for now, the city says it's inspecting in response to complaints. It really like stands out. It's by itself. There's nothing else really impacting or it's fighting for competition on the waterways. Is that what you think appears to be the, the future, the new wave? I don't think anyone wants the waterways to turn into Times Square. It definitely stands out. Does it stand out in a good way? Time will tell. One thing's for sure, in a city that never sleeps, you can always count on plenty of lights. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.